Good day everyone. Today we are going to discuss about illustrate theorems on triangle inequalities. There are various theorems on triangle inequalities. These theorems can be illustrated in one triangle and in two triangles. The most commonly used theorems in one triangle are angle side relationship theorem triangle inequality theorem, and exterior angle inequality theorem. On the other hand, the hinge theorem and the converse theorem illustrate the inequalities in two triangles. To fully understand these theorems, let us read and understand the figures and illustrations on the next slides. Now let's discuss angle side relationship theorem. It states here, if two angles of a triangle are not congruent, then the larger side is opposite the larger angle. In another definition, it also states here that if two sides of a triangle are not congruent, then the larger angle is opposite the larger side. Now let's have example number one for angle side relationship theorem. So we have here, compare the length of the sides of the following triangle. So we have here triangle F, U, and N. Now as we can see, the measurement of two angles is present, while the measurement of angle N is unknown. So we need to find the measurement first of the third angle. Now let us remember that the sum of all angles in any triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. Now, by the sum of interior angles of a triangle, we can say that angle F plus angle U plus angle N is equal to 180 degrees. Now by sub substitution, we have here 50 degrees plus 105 degrees plus angle N is equal to 180 degrees. Now let's add 50 and 105 degrees. So this will become 155 degrees plus angle N is equal to 180 degrees. Now with the use of the addition property of equality, we can say that 155 degrees plus the negative 155 degrees plus angle N is equal to 180 degrees plus the negative of 155 degrees. Now, positive times negative, that becomes 155 degrees minus 155 degrees plus angle N is equal to 180 degrees minus 155 degrees. 155 minus 155 is 0, that is angle N is equal to 180 minus 155, we can, we can have 25 degrees. Therefore, the measurement of the third angle is 25 degrees. Step 2, look at the relative sizes of the angles and compare. So we have here, the largest angle is angle U angle F and angle N in order. But we are going to write the angles starting from the smallest size. So we have here angle N is less than angle F that is also less than angle U. Okay, now following the angle side relationship, we can order the sides accordingly. Now we need to remember it is the side opposite the angle. So let's start with angle N. The opposite of angle N is this one, side FU. Side FU is less than the opposite of angle F is, you have your angle F, opposite is side UN. It's less than side UN that is also less than Angle U here, the opposite of angle U, is side FN. 
So we have here side Fn. Thus, side Fn is the longest side since it is the opposite side of the largest angle. While side Fu is the shortest side whose opposite angle is angle N that measures 25 degrees. Now let's have example number 2 for angle side relationship theorem. Now example number 2 here states that we need to compare the measure of the angles of the following triangle. We have here triangle day, triangle D A Y. Now for step 1, since the length of the sides were given, we can easily compare the lengths from shortest to longest. So the shortest side here is AY. Side AY is less than, the next is side DA that is also less than side DY. So from shortest to long longest, we have here side AY, side DA, and side DY. Step 2, following the angle side relationship theorem, we can order the angles opposite to these sides accordingly. So from shortest, we have here side AY, the opposite of side AY is angle D. So angle D is less than, the next one here we have side DA, the opposite of side DA is side, is angle Y rather. Angle Y, that is also less than the opposite of side DY, which is angle A. Therefore, angle A is the largest angle, which is opposite to side DY, whose side is 6 units, and it follows the other angles. Example 1 and 2 illustrate the angle side relationship theorem. Triangle inequality theorem. The sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the remaining side. Now let's have example number 3 for triangle inequality theorem. In triangle fit, find the range of the possible lengths of side FT. So we have here triangle FIT. The measurement of side FI is 5, side IT is 8, while the measurement of side FT is unknown. So we need to find the range of the possible length. So step 1. From the statement above, or the definition of triangle inequality theorem, we have these three conditions that we need to satisfy. These are A plus B is greater than C, A plus C is greater than B, and lastly, we have C plus B is greater than A. So we need to satisfy these statements. So let's substitute. A is, let's assume that A is equal to 5 and B is equal to 8. So from this, we can formulate that A is 5 plus 8 is greater than C. And the second condition, we have here 5 plus C is greater than 8. And the third condition, we have C plus 8 is greater than 5. So from this, we can say that C must be less than 13. And in this second condition, we can say that C must be greater than 3. And on the last condition, we can say that C is greater than negative 3, which is true. But we are going to 
disregard the negative because lengths are always positive. So, step 2, combining the two valid statements. The two valid statements are this one. So, if we are going to combine that, the answer is C is greater than 3 but less than 13. Therefore, the range of the length of side FT starts from 4 to 12 because C must be greater than 3 but less than 13. Since 4 is greater than 3 and 12 is less than 13, therefore, the range of length of side FT is from 4 to 12. Now let's have another example. Example number four. If all the measurement of the sides are given, for example, we have here A, triangle A is, the sides of triangle A is, are 3, 4, and 6. Triangle B is 5, 6, and 11. While triangle C is 2, 3 and 9. Which length or lengths can form a triangle? Now, if the case is like this, all the measurements are given, we need to check the lengths if it will form a triangle using triangle inequality theorem. Theorem. By making the conditions all true these are the conditions like copying the conditions we have here a plus b is greater than c a plus c is greater than b b plus c is greater than a so let's say 3 is a 4 is b 6 is c as well as 4 triangle b Let's label the numbers. So we have here three plus four is greater than six. Three plus six is greater than four. 4 plus 6 is greater than 3. Now, all statements here are true. They are all true. Now, let's check for the second triangle. So, we have here 5 plus 6 is greater than 11. 5 plus 11 is greater than 6. 6 plus 11 is greater than 5. Now, as you can see, Five plus six is greater than eleven. This is false because five plus six is eleven. So this is false. Five plus eleven is greater than six. This is true. Six plus eleven is greater than five. This is also true. Now let's check the third triangle. We have here two plus three is greater than nine. Three plus nine is greater than 2 2 plus 9 is greater than 3 now by checking we can say that 2 plus 3 is greater than 9 that is false 2 plus 3 plus 9 is greater than 2 is true 2 plus 9 is greater than 3 is true now as you can see There is one statement that is false. Therefore, triangle B and triangle C are not a 
triangle. You need to remember that you can say that the figures given can make a triangle if all the conditions are proven to be true. So, triangle A is a triangle. See you on part 2 for the continuation of this topic.